Hey, I'm talking with Chris Mendez, the CTO of The Yield. Chris, thanks for being here. Pleasure. Can you tell us, Chris, what are you excited about? Look, what I'm really excited about is the opportunity to help people grow food and to feed our planet and to do that in a sustainable way. And it's, it's a rare privilege as a technologist to be able to get involved in something like that. Tell us more about what the yield does. So the, the, the sort of the motto, the tagline is we take the guesswork out of growing and we want to feed the world without wrecking the planet. And you know, I think that the, you know, the, the challenge and I guess the thing that's a concern for us, which I think we don't talk about enough, is that we've got this amazingly rapidly growing population on our planet and we've got to be able to feed those people. And there are a couple of challenges around that. And the, one of them is climate change obviously, and uh, you know that makes it very unpredictable. The other one is, how do you scale the knowledge on how to grow? And so what we're trying to do, in fact, is use machine learning and sensing systems to solve that problem and to help growers scale what they do so that we can feed the world and do it sustainably. Certain things that the yield is focusing on, such mm -hmm. as certain countries, certain types of crops, certain size of farms. Yeah. So look, one of the things that we've worked out and is that you know because we're installing sensing equipment into the ground, what you don't want to do is is um, get involved in crops where they require to plough the whole field up. So it tends to be crops that are there all the time. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's not just an Australian thing, we're looking at a global footprint. And we want to do this in as big a, you know, big a footprint as we can over the whole planet. Um, and at the moment, you know, this is essentially digital transformation of growing. Right? And I think digital transformation is hard enough in any sector, um, but in agriculture I think it's, it's much harder, in fact. Um, we've got a, lot, a longer journey in agriculture. Um, so we're aiming more at corporate farms at the moment and it's where most of the food gets grown anyway. Um, so that's the target. Terrific. And what are you worried about? Well, look, for me the concern in fact is that do we, how do we make agriculture scale to feed 9, 10 billion people um, and do that in ever-changing conditions. Um, we're seeing much more extreme temperatures um, it, already. Right. Uh, due to climate change and we're seeing very very different rainfall patterns around the world um, and as you can imagine for a grower this is a challenging thing to do and so what we're trying to do is provide them with information at a basic level this is what's happening today um, and this is what's happening in the near term for you but we need to also work out how do we transform that into um, wisdom Right. And, and we, don't, we don't have the wisdom, we're not farmers. So what we are trying to do is work with people who do have the wisdom and say, okay, let's use your rules of thumb and all your beautifully sort of, you know, lifetimes and generations of accumulated knowledge to, uh, to help other people grow food. Terrific. And at CBIT, what will you be talking about? Right, so uh, it's, it's a really interesting, I think it's a really interesting talk. Uh, we've built a really, um, interesting um, machine learning technology that helps us with predictive uh, work and the, one of the core tenets of what we do is that if you can predict the weather better then I can optimize growing. Right? I can do better than the next guy and that is important and you know not, not necessarily in a spirit of competition but in a spirit of sustainable, economically sustainable growth. Um, I need to be able to optimise the use of resource, right? Um, so what we're doing is instrumenting a farm and using gridded weather to help us predict what's going to happen right on my property. And people often don't understand that just because I can get weather from the bomb, it, it isn't necessarily what's happening at my place and on my farm. And so we're really about highly, highly accurate local prediction but also turning that into action and using the tools at our disposal to make decisions, help farmers actually make decisions every day. So I'm going to be talking about that system and I'll be with Lee Hicken from Microsoft and he'll be sharing uh, the journey that we've been on in the last two years. Terrific, terrific. And for the average attendee at CBIT, what do they need to know about what you do? What should they be taking away from your talk or from around what the yield focuses on? I think there are a couple of important takeaways and they may not even explicitly come out of the talk. Um, and I think 
The first thing is that um, you know the talk is going to be about how we build some of these things, and I think what I'd like people to hear in the subtext is the importance of the sustainability of what we're doing. Um, the other thing is the accessibility of what we're doing. You know, oftentimes, and I think this is a problem for technologists in general, they get absolutely caught up with the technology and the the awe and wonder of the amazing thing I've built. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, for me, it's also about how do I make that accessible to the person who's got to use that thing. Um, and I'm hoping that that comes out a bit in the talk. Terrific.